Hi guys, Mark here. Well, welcome today to Dearden Motorcycles here in Southampton, south of England. And today we're taking a look at Aprilia's Touareg 660. Stay tuned and I'll give you my thoughts on it. Well hi there guys, Mark here. Well, welcome along today to a review on the Aprilia Touareg 660. Let's take a look round and just uh, run through the specifications. And many thanks to Dearden Motorcycles for lending me this bike today. So first off, let's start with the price. These are coming in at £10,600. And the, uh, the blue model is £11,100. So this comes with the uh, same engine platform as shared in the Toronto 660 and the RS 660. It's got the 659 659cc parallel twin, liquid cooled, double overhead cam, 8 valve. And it's got that lovely 270 de degree crank which gives it that sort of V-twin feel and sound. So it's down-tuned slightly from uh, the Torona and the RS660. This is putting out 80 horsepower at 9,250 RPM. But it's actually been tweaked for more low and mid-range torque. And you can really feel that when you open it up from low RPM. It's got 70 Newton meters of torque at 6,500 RPM. It does make a great sound when you open it up. More of that later on. So this is a really good alternative to bikes like the uh, Yamaha Teneri 700 or KTM's 890 Adventure. Really good off-road. It's got a very tall seat, this bike, 860 millimetres. It's very long, which enables you to move about a lot when you're riding off-road. And it's quite narrow as well. But just have a look at me on the bike. I'm five foot seven tall, 30 inch inside leg. And I can sort of just about tiptoe it and I weigh about 75 kilos, so you can just see how the suspension compresses down. The weight on these, 187 kilograms dry weight, 204 kilograms wet. We've got a large capacity 18 litre fuel tank. A pretty are quoting 4 litres for 100 kilometres, which is pretty good. Should give around about 70 miles per gallon UK and that should give you a range of over 250 miles, so a good range. Six speed transmission on this, nice smooth slick shifting gearbox. Tires on these, we have a 90 section on the front, 21 inch wheel, tubeless I'm pleased to say. We've got Pirelli Scorpion STR tires, it's a 90 section on the front and a 150 section on the rear running an 18 inch wheel spoked tubeless it's got four riding modes two of which are customizable abs can be deactivated which is good for off-road very very long travel suspension on these 43 millimeter forks with 240 millimeters travel abs is standard 
adjustable forks just up there. Got twin piston, twin disc Brembo setup, giving good stopping power. 6,000 mile service intervals on these. And these are available in this red. We've got a blue and we've also got a gold. Screen to me looks to be non-adjustable, but I'm sure there are uh, other options available for taller screens. Looking around the bike, looks very well made. I have reviewed the uh, the Torono and the RS, so I'll put those links in at the end for you. Did take the seat off to have a look under there. Unfortunately, there's no storage space under there at all. You've got your preload adjuster there for the rear shock. LEDs all round. Long travel suspension. i say these tyres are semi knobbly, so you could go off road with them. All right, then, guys, let's do the test ride. Okay, guys, welcome aboard a pretty as Touareg 660. So it is a tall bike, this 860mm seat height, and I can just about ride this. I'm right on my tiptoes, but luckily when you sit on it, the suspension, the rear suspension, does sink down quite a bit. So, yeah, I mean, I'm just about on the limit of riding this bike. I think if you're shorter than me, 5'7", if you're, say, 5'5", five five with a shorter leg than me, um, this is not going to be a bike for you unless you massively lower it or get a, a lower seat somehow but it definitely if you're five foot ten six foot six foot plus this is going to be definitely a bike for you so we just run through all the controls we've got a very light smooth cable clutch have your uh, headlight flasher cruise control which is standard that's a nice uh, feature got your menu buttons there indicators and horn we have a span adjustable front brake lever engine kill switch and start you've got your riding modes button down there uh, running lights, lights button there, and we have fully adjustable front suspension. Lovely 5 inch TFT, which is a joy to look at. There's tons of information there. Time, riding modes, all your different uh, parameters average fuel, trip meters, rev counter, gears, um, loads of information there. Very, very nice TFT there. So, a starter up. So, this is a parallel twin with a 270 degree crank. And it has a fantastic noise. The roar from the airbox is awesome. So, away we go. So, very easily into first gear. Very, very light, smooth, early taking clutch. And being such a tall bike, <laughs> I'm really up high here. It's got a fantastic commanding view. So a very, very smooth engine. We'll take it on the motorway later on and see what it performs like at higher speeds. Oh, what a great noise. So this is the same engine as in the uh, Tuono 660 in the R RS 660, just down tuned a bit for less power and more torque. And God, doesn't it deliver? It's got stacks of power and torque and it sounds absolutely awesome that is one of the best things about these uh, 660 engines uh, very very impressed with them they do pack a, a lot of power you know when you compare them to the, uh, the sort of competition you know like the 650 versus or the v-strom 650s uh, these have got a lot more power so suspensions long travel designed for off-road very very plush handling takes all the bumps very nicely and we're currently here in the beautiful new forest here in the south of england okay so we just run through the bike in the usual way mirrors they're the sort of things that you tend to see on a lot of bikes these days bmws all the aprilias have these sort of shape 
very very clear I can see pretty much all the road behind me a little tiny view of my elbows but all in all very good mirrors nice and clear so we'll try this at higher speeds a bit later on but at this sort of gentle 40 mile an hour the screen is which is non-adjustable it's giving a good, good bit of wind protection it's not unduly noisy at this speed all seems fine at the moment TFT screen absolute joy very very bright in this sunlight I'm sure you can adjust it for brightness in the menu I can see my speed my revs average fuel consumption gears all very very easy to read ambient temperature 17 degrees so all is good just going down the gearbox which is very very slick and positive oh a lovely bit of mid-range power this wow very free revving and keen and very very smooth as well you wouldn't really think it's a a twin So the riding position, pretty much dead upright, bolt upright, very nice wide bars, typical of most adventure style bikes. The seat is very tall, it's nicely padded actually for a seat of this style, it's quite a thin seat so it's not very wide across I mean. Um, so it does help you a little bit to get your legs down because it's not a wide seat, it doesn't spread your legs out. So I can just about touch down at 5'7". But the upside of that is you get an absolutely brilliant commanding view. I mean, I don't think I've ridden a bike this tall before. It's really nice, nice view here. All the switch gear, indicators, horn, flasher, all very nice and easy to use, nice and tactile. Back brake feels good, front brake feels very good. We'll try those out at higher speed in a bit. So we'll just try the Aprilia through a uh, sleepy village here in the New Forest, just to check its fueling. We're currently in urban riding mode at the moment. Third gear, just under 3,000 RPM, just to check the fueling, make sure it doesn't hunt or surge with its fuel injection. Two and a half thousand revs, 20 bar an hour, very, very slick. So I just dropped it down to second. Yeah, that's just purring along lovely, no problems at all there. The bike does feel very light actually. It's got big, big, big handlebars, very good on the steering. It doesn't feel heavy at all. Some of these adventure style bikes can be a bit of a handful this doesn't feel heavy to me it feels like very very light to chuck from side to side so if you did go off road with it i'll take it down a little track in a minute um, it feels very light and maneuverable to me so there we are guys 30 mile an hour sort of simulating a town environment you may well be riding this to work or whatever very easy throttle response it's not snatchy at all I did try the off-road and the um, explore modes as well and uh, they, they've got nice throttle responses as well. So yeah, top marks for the Touareg through town guys, all good. Alright, let's just see what the uh, Aprilia is like off-road. So I'm just standing up now, very easy to stand up, lots of room, got a great view. Got it in the off-road mode at the moment. Let Mr. Horsey go by. So the Pirelli Scorpion tyres feel good. Suspension feels very, very compliant over these bumps. No problems at all. Yeah, very, very nice. So a little bit, a little bit more speed now. Yeah, this feels very, very composed off-road. Like I could ride a long way on this, on these sort of dirt gravel tracks. So yeah. So just for light trails, guys, I'd say no problems at all for the Touareg. Very, very good.
Oh, so one of the things I love about this engine is its sound and its mid-range. Look at this. It really does shift. You know, they've, they've lowered the power a bit. But they've given it more mid-range. So it really does pull from sort of three, four thousand revs. And the noise is absolutely superb. if you can hear that but it um really kind of comes up from the airbox down below wow <laughs> so so far i've been very impressed with the tuareg Be beautiful compliant suspension very strong brakes just try the cruise control out there you go 50 miles an hour you can speed it up so all very easy hands-free cruise control that's nice so I'm currently in the uh, explore mode which um, it's not a huge amount of difference to urban but it's just a bit more snappier on the throttle to so crack the throttle open it just goes that little bit more so we're shortly going to be coming on to a motorway try out the uh, Aprilia's higher speed now this is absolutely it's a right blast around these bends it's very very chuckable the tyres feel good well, the chassis feels very well balanced I must admit they've done it really nicely on the suspension there's no wallowing or pogoing with the suspension I've been on this bike for about an hour now and even though the seat is quite narrow um, not really any problems with the seat so far, it's pretty comfortable. It's just that pickup from low RPM, you know, you, it's very impressive for a 660. Third gear, just winding it on. Very impressive. it up to about 70 so currently showing around about 70 we are in top gear and we're doing just over 5,000 revs no vibrations through the seats virtually nothing through the bars and a slightest slightest buzz coming through the pegs but not in a bad way you know it's a very kind of visceral engine should we say it's got a lot of character very sort of snarly so it just adds to the character really so I'm just going to wind it open in top now so yeah plenty of top gear acceleration just going to drop it down two gears so we're just at 6,000 revs now still very smooth no problems at all there wind blast totally acceptable just feel it coming off there nicely it's just hit me on the shoulders a bit but uh, nothing nothing untoward hand guards are doing a nice job can't feel any wind at all my hands so that's lovely just gonna wind it open a bit yeah loads of effortless sort of a uh, acceleration in top gear Try to cruise that again. There you go. Top gear cruise control. Very, very easy. Doing a very relaxed five and a half thousand revs at this speed. All the mirrors are very clear still. Bike feels very stable. I just love its really tall um, riding position. You feel really sort of in control.
plenty of leg room as I said earlier it's a very tall bike so no problems at all with legs nice wide bars you know really really nice riding position this nothing behind brakes are very very strong so guys the uh, the Touareg at motorway speeds very impressive holds its own I would estimate with about 80 horsepower this would probably do about 115 maybe 120 mile an hour top speed so we're in third gear at the moment just gonna wind it open oh what a noise oh. I tell you what you could buy this bike just for the engine performance and the sound that's absolutely brilliant <laughs> Out of all the sort of mid-range 650 size adventure bikes, this has got the most entertaining engine by far. So yeah, five star guys for the Touareg on the motorways. Okay guys, we'll just wrap this up over here. Have a final walk round. This lovely Aprilia Touareg 660. All right, so just see how it goes into neutral. Neutral, easy first neutral that's all good little sound check for you so it sounds utterly brilliant this decent side stand I'll just leave the engine running I'll just flick it onto high beam with the indicators going Lights look very good to me. A little final look at that screen. So over here you've got the mode button which changes the riding mode. So you've got off, off-road, individual, explore, which I used, and urban. So there we go. So have a final walk round. So yeah, Pirelli Scorpion tyres, they're good dual purpose tyres those, nice that they're tubeless, very very good compliant suspension on and off road. I say it is a tall bike, I'm on tiptoes being 5'7", um, I'm sure there are some l lower seat options if you look into it. Really good long travel front suspension, big 21 inch wheel for going over all the bumps. Decent wind protection. Absolute peach of an engine. Very, very punchy. Very smooth, tractable. Lots of low and mid-range torque. It's got that glorious soundtrack as well. So definitely five stars for that engine. One of, one of the best in the class, I would say. Really good strong brakes all round. Brembo's at the front are brilliant. Uh, averaged about 64 to the gallon on my trip, but I'm sure on the longer trip you could get nearer to the 70 miles per gallon mark, which is excellent. Right, just see what it's like to push off the side stand. So it's about a 200 kilo bike this wet, that's very, very easy to push off the side stand. And uh, if you've had to push it around in your garage, no problem at all there. It's got a good turning circle. So I actually enjoyed that a lot more than I thought I would. I say it's a big old beastie, it's very tall, so do bear that in mind. But if you want to do some off-roading and touring, uh, definitely give one of these a look. Uh, it's really right up there with the others, I would say. But most of all, that engine is absolutely awesome, in my opinion. So there you go, guys. Please give me a like, thumbs up, share and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to post your comments down below, as always. I like to read them. And I'll catch you again in a week or two for another review. So take care, guys. Ride safe. And bye for now.